the greatest outcome of joining KUKALP was the development of skills and um, just knowledge of all the varied aspects of art. I think you can definitely spot the students that are involved in KUKALP. Um, in Bryn Hovred they work in lots of different areas, the 3D medium, the printing and the fine art and they tend to have strengths in all areas. They're happy to experiment and um, build on the skills that they already have. Especially when they come through into our GCSE years, um, when they have to work a lot more independently and experimenting, they're quite happy to go and pick their own artists and clearly inspired by artists. Um, and you can see through their developmental work and their experimentation of media that they have a clear strength in that area. Yeah, definitely I've developed more skills. Um, certainly like nothing I would have thought before to uh, even try doing in the art and uh, or even had the opportunity to do so yeah. Um, so these are probably my three favourite artworks uh, where we took a we took portraits from around the castle and then we sort of put our own spin on them and uh, these are using string and a bit of collage and uh, yeah I think they look really good. Uh, we did a residency with uh, Lisa Carter in Castas Bother with on and uh, we did things like drawing and collages and we did an installation so we got a whole room to ourselves where we got to do whatever we wanted to it before it was more sort of drawing and maybe some painting but now I've got like a wide variety of things that um, that I've developed over the few years. Doing art for GCSE it gave a boost in confidence and just a uh, higher understanding of then for people who haven't done Cook Health. It's been absolutely fantastic for her. It's been great to see her grow and develop and uh, her confidence has grown enormously and the kind of ideas that she comes up with now, it's been fantastic to see the change in something that previously might have been more, um, she might have been producing something that she'd already seen whereas now she's producing stuff that she might not have already seen that's really coming from inside of herself. So it's brilliant, it's been great. Um, so we had a two-day workshop with Anne Harrod Piers Jones and we were working with metal, doing continuous line drawings of ourselves using mirrors. And um, we then developed that into a wire portrait of ourselves using a spot welder and plasma cutter and the next day we moved on to using um, well using the same techniques but applying them to a kinetic sculpture. The artist was amazing and gave us advice on how to use all the <coughs> tools and gave us the resources to make our um, portraits. It's a huge difference they're getting to do things that necessarily we wouldn't have the time or funding to do quite often in schools, often in smaller groups, so they, they're learning very quickly some really creative techniques and being able to develop them into some outstanding pieces.